Good morning. My name is Marlena Jackson, and I am very delighted to be here today to share my story with you. I was raised right here in San Francisco. I grew up in the Baby Hunters Point community, where I still live with my two daughters. When I was growing up, we didn't have a lot of money, but my parents were very careful about saving and spending it wisely. In fact, to this day, I still haven't figured out how my parents were able to send four of us to private school from kindergarten through the 12th grade. Unfortunately, the task or the skill of saving money and spending it wisely did not get passed on automatically. <laughs> I excelled in high school, went straight to college, but then when my daughter was born, I decided to put my education on hold. And even though I was short 12 units for graduation, I decided that that was the best thing to do. I started working as a bus driver for the San Francisco Unified School District. This I felt was the best way to not only raise my daughter, but be able to commit a tremendous amount of time to her um, well-being. And then I think I took delight in being an active parent in her life to the point where perhaps she felt that mom, you know, step away, uh, stop coaching me, stop coming to, stop being my coach. But I think that she truly appreciated that time. And that included volunteering and driving them on field trips, taking entire classes um, without cost to them so that they could be able to have field trips that perhaps other schools weren't able to have. The arrangement worked out well while, while she was young, but then I realized that at some point she was getting older and she would soon graduate. So quickly I realized that I needed to really start thinking about the future. And so I had many dreams for not only myself, but for my girls. I wanted to go back to college. I wanted to give my daughters a secure home. I wanted them to go to college someday. And so my 17-year-old, who's in the audience with me, is a freshman at the University of San Francisco. I wanted to make a difference for them and make it all possible for them. And I meant finding a way to actually make it possible for myself. I had to make it happen for me. And how was I going to be able to do that? Well, I decided to finish my degree in biological science from the University of the Pacific. I had always dreamed of pursuing a career that would somehow help other people lessen the burden of diseases that currently don't have a cure. And I wanted those people to be able to live a better life as a result of that. My mother, who survived breast cancer, inspired me to go into biomedical science in the hope of somehow finding a cure for cancer or some other unmet medical need. Working, going to school, and raising a family wasn't easy. But in 2006, I finished my degree landed an internship at a major biotech company. For the next year, I worked really hard to get selected for a full-time permanent lab position, and I got it. <laughs> the journey was not easy. There were a lot of sacrifices made, not on just on my part, but on my daughter's. But every day I told myself that we were gonna be okay. <clears throat> One night while listening to the evening news, a story about Ern <clears throat> gonna stop me in my tracks. It was a story about a family against incredible odds was able to save and buy a home. And I thought, well, I want to be in that position one day. Before Earn, I never really considered that I might be able to 
purchase a home, but I learned in my training that all I needed to do was be able to write down my goals. And once I listened to some of the other earned savers, I began to feel like home ownership wasn't that far out of reach. So what, so what were my goals that I put down on paper? I wanted a place where my daughters can be safe and happy, have a yard to play in, and most importantly, a place that they could call their own. Earn helped me to focus on my financial goals and write them down in a step-by-step -step plan. I started saving automatically every month. Having that goal has really empowered me, I feel, and it's pushed me to achieve and work hard. For example, I knew from my earned budgeting workshop that I needed to earn more in order to save more. So I really work hard on my current job. In fact, I went in this morning for a couple of hours before coming here. <clears throat> and I get to work with some very talented scientists. And here they are, their, re their research involves looking for cures for cancer. And then if I ever, what keeps, what drives me is the fact that my family's future home it's just getting that much closer. It's not that far. So today, the dream of home ownership is about to become reality. <clears throat> I am thrilled to report that I am expecting to close escrow on my first home by December 19th and in fact, as soon as I'm done speaking, um, we're supposed to be doing our first walkthrough this morning at 1030. <laughs> Because of EARN, I've gained the power to achieve the goals that I wrote down in my training. And I am teaching my daughters the importance of saving and financial management. I never thought this would be possible, but here I am about to move into our brand new home in Antioch. And keep in mind that it's a 27 square foot home, so my daughters are going to be pretty happy. <laughs> so I thank you so much for supporting Earn and for giving my family a chance to make our dreams a reality. And because of what you have given us, it's far greater than what any words could ever express. So I truly thank you and we thank you from our hearts for everything that you guys have done for families like me. Thank you.